So where the cicadas could land next could be an issue for local orchards. The insects lay their eggs in the trees, potentially creating a costly problem. The WHAS 11 night team's Tom Lally is live right now. And tonight, Tom, you visited a local orchard to show us how they're getting ready. Yeah, cicadas enjoy river corridors. So if you're living out in Shelby County, further from the Ohio River and connected waterways, you probably won't be seeing as much of Brood X this summer. But if you live anywhere near this, we've got a storm coming. We enjoyed listening to them. The owner of Hidden Hollow Orchard remembers when these trees were saplings and the cicadas started to emerge. And the cicadas would walk up the side and they'd nibble their way up. and. When they did that, the trees would curl over like, like that. The female has an ovipositor, which looks a little bit like a sword, and that's her egg laying device. And she goes through and cuts a slit into the thin bark of twigs and branches, inserts a clutch of eggs, usually about a couple dozen. Entomologist Jonathan Larson says each female cicada will lay a couple hundred eggs like that, then fly off and do it somewhere else. That causes some unexpected pruning, branches falling off when owners aren't expecting it, and potential lost income. But Helen Kielkopf doesn't seem to mind. They're tasty too. Now, when it comes to protecting our trees from cicadas, we could all take a note from local orchards. It starts at the base. Wrapping that base with something sticky can keep cicadas from climbing, and you can cover the entire tree in netting, but that has to be done for six to eight weeks to make a full difference. It's not 100%, just like with insecticides, but it is something that can cause a lot less headache for you in the future. So if you're planning on netting, you may be running out of time. By the way, as for Helen, she's yet to eat a cicada. For now, she's sticking with apples. And speaking of time, this won't be the last time many of us see cicadas. In fact, it may not even be the worst of it for Kentucky counties. Most of them will see the big brood in 2025. Live for WHAS 11, I'm Tom Lally.